Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Thronefall with me, Dr. Munchkin. So, last time, if you've been following along, we went ahead and completed the finest final bonus mode mission for Uthruind. Now, today, we're going to go ahead and migrate into uh, Sturmklem, which is a... Uh, just a lot of fun, and that is not this one. They do not have Wildbok as bonus modes, but it is the one with the tiered levels that introduce the mole people, which was a lot of fun. But yes, we're going to go ahead and start this today. Now, next time, as a reminder, this game is leaving early access this Friday, October 11th, and they are adding three additional worlds. So although we are starting this today, we will not get around to finishing this for quite some time until we complete all six crowns for the new three levels, which is another 18 crowns, if you can do a quick mass. <sighs> but yeah, I'm looking really forward to that because I really enjoy this game. It's a good challenge, but also in some aspects with the early on crowns, it's actually relaxing to me. But let's go ahead and look at just the way they are and see what this is about. So you have a sore throat and your students won't listen. Defend your castle with nothing but towers and units that do whatever they want. All right, so we do have to achieve victory and we have to get a score of at least 6,100. I don't see any weapons that we will have, so it seems we will be naked in a sense. But we have archery. Archers will have more range and more projectile speed. That's really good, so we want to get archers. Towers that are close to use get a boost. I love power tower, especially if we had arcane towers. Um, hopefully, no, there is research on Storm Clam. We want to get the research for at least range attack to at least capitalize on this. And then every tower that was freshly built or upgraded during the last day receives an elite marker for that night, making it deal plus 65% damage. That will be key on any giant wave. We want to make sure we have the economy set up to support that. And hopefully there are shrines because this map introduced it. But we're going to go ahead and attempt this today. And as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like this content, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And with that, let's go ahead and begin. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and build this. And then, guys from the south, we're gonna want this, we're gonna want this. We're gonna want that as well. Alright, so this, why I did this is they're gonna funnel through, which will be good. Hopefully, this should be the quickest way to kill these guys. Boom. Alright, so that's done. What's next? We can kind of do the same thing, but I'm going to go ahead and get Berserkers online for this one. And... I think I'll just go ahead and help them a little bit. Still going to be over here. But these berserkers should help. And then this is going to help thin out these guys. So we want to go fast and we want things to survive. Tower didn't live. That's not the end of the world, but it's not great. All right, big guy, not too bad. I am going to build that. We are going to upgrade ourselves as well to this, and then I want bunker tower. Because as I come into here, this thing's going to shoot faster and faster and faster. We'll probably
probably end up losing the wall, potentially. Or not. That's clean. Finished at the same time. Excellent. All right, we got flying enemies from the north. So we definitely need some longbow guys and we need these towers online. Like so, I don't have enough for anything else. So I'm just gonna do that. This one. That's bad. All right, it's not the end of the world. We survived. Now we got mole people. Mole people are annoying. We're just gonna build up here. that. That should be good enough to take them on. And then we're going to get some more archers online. And I have enough for another tower. I think we just build that for now. And so what I want them to do there, oh, we could build a tower there, but that's really far out and it will only help us on waves that things come from this end. Which, this could have been a great way for that if everyone is going to go over there. But they should start to tunnel this way. And these are the archers. So now they're starting to come over. And because these towers have all been built, they're gonna do extra damage. Now, the thing is, this well, I just built these towers um, and the archers. This one might not see any action. <laughs> and we may, we'll probably lose this building. It's not the end of the world because we are gonna win the wave. But we do wanna minimize destruction of everything that goes on And that'll do for that wave. Okay. Here's a big wave coming in. So what I think we'll do is we'll build this guy as a sniper to be able to shoot all this stuff. Build you to help. And I will build this wall. How much is that? That's five. It's four. I think we build, we build the knights. They help. And they're strong in terms of defense. But because this got upgraded, how did, the, oh, he got a shot off. That jerk. Too bad. All right, bunch of archers. The knights will help with this. This is already set up for that. We have 18. I think we just buy more of these guys and more of these guys to help. And I'm just gonna stay here.
I really wish I could have commanded the troops because these knights are really good against these guys. Should be fine up top. Should. We have a lot of archers. Is this tower actually gonna live? That'd be insane. Looks like it because they're focusing on the troops, so in reality, I lost what? A wall? That's actually really good. Alright, bunch of mole people. I'm going to spend upgrades on you, and you, and probably you, and we can spend it here as well, like that. <sighs> Just so everything is upgraded to fight this onslaught. I think we'll probably get some troops up there after they move over. This is a check wave. It's gotta be. Like, that's a lot of troops. This, I think, is where you really want to try to leverage the, uh, the fact that it gave you that perk for, hey, you buy towers and they destroy things because they're elites. Now they are destroying this wall, it's not the end of the world. Do you want to come over here to this tower though? Alright, we lost, what, a few? What do we have now? Flying enemies, great. We have money. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. Reason being, these become cheaper. I wish I could have bought more, bought more troops, but this will have to do. These would be great sniper towers as well, just to kill people that enter that key. Yep, we're going to lose the uh, the range there. We have passed the DPS check. Now the question is, if I hadn't had that one perk for this wave, would I have passed? I lost the one building. That's 500. How many waves are left? Four waves? Five times four. That's... Ooh, we're going to need some monies. Um... Big wave out of here. I think what I'll do is I'll just upgrade you. Maybe spend on the wall. The walls have no bearing on this, obviously. But uh, we can do that and then stand next to this thing. We have a lot of troops. And this thing is going to beam them once they come in range. That's why I really like the uh, the arcane because it increases their range as well. This tower is kind of useless in this regard. Glad we upgraded this wall. Still might break. Yep. Not the end of the world. We cleaned up nicely. Okay. This be a wave. So we are going to spend some money over here. I think 
we'll hold off on that. Spend that, so that's at least upgraded. And I do want to spend some money there to block that. 16. Do I go in and upgrade more troops? I think we call that and I do this. He'll be able to get both these channels. Thing is, will he survive the catapults? The answer is no, he will not. But here come the cavalry, aka the berserkers. This is where we upgrade you to be that. We still save on you. We need to build this wall just in case. And we're going to build more of you guys just in case. We'll build this guy as a sniper just to also help. And we're going to save our money. Question is, how strong is this tower? As sixty five percent boost, double shot. Whatever want. Still going to lose the wall. That is not a bad trade, though. All right. What are we sitting at? I need... I need another thousand. All right. Well, because they're all coming from over here, we're just going to upgrade these two. I will. No, we're not going to build that. That one. Nah, I just need firepower. We'll try this. We also want to try to save our money in case that power tower really changes the game. And the reason it changes the game is because you start to look at it in terms of do I want to buy this tower to upgrade it to make it super powerful now, or do I want to do it later? Because later might be the way to go. took out my actual tower. That's okay, we got we got this wave. It's not too bad. Alright, this is the final wave. How much did I get? Alright. Um Do that. Do I want to do that? 
I think I do. Or maybe not. Just to save the money for the bonus. Because that's 500 points. Which basically means if I win this, I should... Now right, we're just going to try it. Sod it. This thing does 65% more damage. Just be like a one less shot. It's not terrible. And we still won. Questions, did we get the score that we needed? Oh, the no restart did it. So if we had spent extra, I don't know if we would have gotten it. But if we go back to the map now. That is three stars. <laughs> so next time, unfortunately, like I said at the beginning, we are not going to be doing the one-person army, which seems awesome, by the way. Although is this, you're on your own, upgrading strength to the max. Your weapon becomes more powerful every night. That's really nice. Your auto attack cools down. The lower your health, the more additional damage you deal. This is great. Um, and we got to get a score of 4,600 while getting victory. The new maps are going to be out. So we're going to try the new maps with the new perks and the new weapons, because that sounds like a lot more fun. But once we go ahead and complete that, we will come back to this. That was a tight one, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Dr. Munchkin, signing out. <laughs>